left and this morning on my way to work at about 6.30 and got home tonight at about 7.30 and normally she's at the back door chomping at the bit to get, to get inside and um, found it a bit odd that she wasn't there. So I went around the back and I found her doing this. I couldn't believe you'd actually need that muzzle. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Zena's owner is out of town, but his flatmate Gareth has rushed in with the trembling Rotty. She really is displaying the classical signs of it of a snail bait poisoning and you do have to have to act pretty quickly on these guys because they, as you can see, their system just goes into overload. Come on, go. You just keep calm there. They're being very good. If it gets too far, they can actually go into seizures. When that happens, it's very bad news. You've had some problems with neighbours, you suspect, before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and generally when, um, when she's kept outside and she might bark a bit and I think they're a bit pissed and they try a bit of, I'll, I'm assuming the last time that she was poisoned. A phone hookup to the owner confirms the suspicion of poisoning. To me, it looks as though she's actually had something like a snail bait. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is give her an injection of, of something called atropine, which is going to hopefully reverse a lot of those effects. Yeah. That, that's all right with you? Yeah, yeah, all right, no worries, mate. This one's a pleasant injection. The, um, the next ones won't be so pleasant. I'm going to give this slowly. He administers atropine, an antidote. The next thing I'm going to do is actually make her vomit. I want to get that stuff out of her stomach so she stops absorbing it, but I'm just trying to prevent her going into a seizure right now. This is a, what looks quite bizarre, but essentially it's a tablet that we're going to inject. Once this kicks in, she'll want to vomit. Now, that should be hard enough. I'll get this off. This is going to be a really tough moment for her because she's already feeling yeah. incredibly bad. Come on, go. Perfect, here we go. Come on, go. Yeah, it does. Oh, it? You're in charge of that. Oh, great. <laughs> Lucky you. Can you pass me that tape as well? Zena's vomit is green. Chris now realises she swallowed snail bait containing a deadly poison called metaldehyde. There's no antidote for that. It's a little bit funny that the guy who owns the dog is a cop and so is a housemate and so are all these guys here. Is this dog being poisoned? The person that poisoned it doesn't know what he's messing oh, with, does he? Bit of trouble. The intravenous route just just, it just doesn't seem to be responding to that and that's probably a result of the poisoning itself. What I'm actually going to do here looks a little bit strange, but it works. There's a great blood supply to the eye and that gets absorbed pretty quickly. Yep. It's a bit of an irritant though, mm -hmm. so she won't like this. Paul, Zena's owner, is now racing back to Bondi to be by her side. Once you get to know her, she's the most beautiful, friendly, lovely natured dog. She's an absolute, she thinks she's human. She's a baby. <laughs> Yeah, Paul. Hey mate. hey, mate. What I'm proposing is that we, we take her over to the emergency centre for the simple fact she's going to probably need to be anaesthetised and also monitored throughout the night. Um, and she also needs something called a, a, a gastric lavage. Zena needs her stomach pumped urgently to purge the toxin from her system. I'm assuming she's actually been given a fair sized bait there. At the moment, it's, it's touch and go. The seriously ill Rottweiler now needs to be transferred to the clinic's emergency referral hospital, SASH. Zena is in a critical condition. Hey, you going? got Zena. <laughs> Just to fill you in with her. She came in about an hour and a half ago yeah. and she was tremoring and, and basically in a fair bit of distress. Mm -hmm. So just putting both tubes in. We're trying to fill up the stomach with warm water and then basically empty it out. So trying to physically remove all of the toxin from her stomach. The thing I'm most mindful of at the moment is the potential for brain damage. Uh, we saw Zena's temperature shoot through the roof to above 40 degrees. Now, if it goes over 41 or, heaven forbid, 42, then there's a very real risk of brain damage. The gastric tube has been removed and now the vets can only wait 
and hope. What we're looking for over the next few hours is basically a reduction in the amount of tremoring she has. We want her whole nervous system to calm down. The devastated owner finally arrives. We just say, no, we, we are doing everything we can. Paul is a Sydney policeman, and he's certain this has been an act of pure malice. If they've got a beef with me, they've got a beef with someone. But to, to kill a dog, to, to try to kill a dog, which they would have done if, if we weren't home. The next few hours pretty much decide Zena's future. If she can metabolise the toxin that's in her system, keep that temperature down and begin to show some significant signs of improvement, then the future looks good. If not, if she continues to tremor, if she goes into seizure, then it's bad news. It's very bad news. Thank you. You must better. be happy. A lot better. Yeah, a lot better. come yeah. see her. You'll be over the moon. At the emergency hospital, Zena has made it through the night. Oh, yeah, look at you wearing your tail. That tail's going. Oh. So she'll still be quite groggy yeah, today and even probably into tomorrow. Just it's been a close call. Zena could have suffered severe brain damage, but remarkably, she's okay. And she looks so normal now. Yeah. And to see her lying there last night broke my heart. And, um, but to see her again today, a complete turnaround. I can't describe it, ecstatic, relieved. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel camera shy now. Yeah, you always That's want to be the centre of attention. <laughs> Back at home, Zena is showing no signs of her snail bait ordeal. I'm ecstatic that she's here now. And it uh, looks like we'll be moving out soon. Um, I just can't take the risk that something like this is going to happen again. But I'm happy that, I'm so happy that she's here now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.